Hey, hot dogs. Happy Monday to you. I just wanted to reach out, uh, wish you a great start of the week um, as we move into our next round of e-learning this week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I wanted to cheer you on, tell you that you've been doing a great job. And if you haven't been on yet, it's not too late. It's time to get back down to business. Um, obviously, our school building is closed. It's very different here without each and every one of you. But school is not closed. School is still continuing, and we need you to keep working and fighting that good fight. Before I get into my list of things that I need to cover today, I first just wanted to speak to all of you students and um, especially the class of 2020, our seniors, and let you know that I'm just really sorry about the way this year is panning out for you. None of us could have foreseen the events that are taking place in our country right now, and I hope that you feel safe and I hope that you feel calm in looking at the future and knowing that the sacrifices that you're giving up, things like prom and end of the school year together, the last walk, all of those things are for the greater good. And that doesn't make it any easier when you're thinking about all of the things that you're missing out on. Um, and I just wanted to express my condolences and say that I'm, I'm really sorry that things are coming down the way that they are, and I wish that I could change them for you, but I can't. Um, let's talk about some specifics. I made some notes. First step, number one, uh, students 9 through 12, every single one of you has work to complete and work that you must complete. We need you to participate. We need you to work hard. Your teachers are here for you, and they're ready to answer questions via email. Your administration is here for you. Email us. Call into school. We're happy to talk to you and help you solve your problem. Counselors are here for you. Just reach out. Email is the best way to reach them. We all want to help. Just let us know what you need. In your classes, keep working hard. Do the best you can. Ask questions. Be present. Second thing on my list, unfortunately, and I mentioned it already, is the prom for this year. There will not be a prom on May 9th this year as previously scheduled. Um, again, I'm really, really sorry about that. We have tossed around ideas of doing something virtually, perhaps doing something late into the summer. We don't have any real answers at this point as to what we can do, except to say on May 9th, I'm so sorry, but we will not be meeting together to have a prom. And again, um, I understand that, that there's a lot of thought. There could have been money and things involved with buying a dress and making plans. And I'm so sorry that those things aren't going to happen the way that you expected them to. The third thing on my list, um, this one is for seniors. Seniors, I know you're thinking about things like senior honors banquet, um, scholarship night. We're working on a plan to put together a virtual ceremony for you on those things. Um, what will happen is you'll receive an email from FHS. We need you to reply back in order to put together any sort of virtual um, ceremony. It's It's got to be you playing and us playing. So all of us, if someone asks you for some information, please make sure that you get that to us in a timely fashion so that we can include you in those in those special ceremonies. Finally, uh, let's just talk about graduation. Seniors, we so want to have a graduation for you. It is a monumental occasion to be able to walk across the stage and share your accomplishments with your family and friends. Um, we're guessing that we're going to have to get creative in the way that we're going to put that together, and we do not have a definite. Um, we're working towards that as the guidelines in our country continue to change. We will continue to follow those guidelines and make it work. Just know that if it's even if it's not right now, even if it's not on time, we will make something happen for you, and we will do our very, very best to make it a memorable time of celebration. Um, one more topic, summer school. Many of you will be receiving a letter or a phone call this week, and it will outline credits that you need to make up. Again, just like school, we won't be coming into the building, so this will be a virtual experience, um, but we will use our company of Edmentum to help you regain those credits. Seniors, again, I'm talking to you. If you have credits that you need to make up, those are still requirements. Those requirements don't go away. So you need to make sure that you pay attention to the information that you're receiving, again, via mail and through a phone call home. It'll come out later this week and make sure that you are taking care of that business and making up those credits. 
Again, hot dogs, I just want to let you know that we miss you so much. We wish you were here. School's not school's not fun without all of your vibrant personalities. And we wish that uh, we were all here together and learning this way. But I applaud you on your hard work thus far. Keep it up. We'll make it to May. We'll get there. It's all going to be okay. I leave you with a quick quote from Maya Angelou, one of my favorite authors. She said, you may not be in control of all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. So consider that. Don't be reduced by the circumstances that we're all facing in the world today. We miss you. Please reach out. Let us know what you need. And um, I will update you with more specifics as soon as I have them. Thanks. Have a great day.